Alright, so I'm going to be doing a review on the GNG GR16. It's basically a M16 style airsoft rifle, but the GNG calls it the GR16 because it's their brand making it. So you're going to get the package to come like this. Basically, picture of the gun, the versions, the A3. The older models weren't as good as the A3, the A2 was uh, known for being not as reliable. This G, the A3, is much better. I have the full metal version here. You open up the box. Okay, so here you go. You got the gun. Take these little things out. GNG's standard 450 round high cap magazine, cleaning rod, GNG's M16 uh, wrench to fix or uh, to block and unlock and adjust things on the gun, and the gun itself. Okay, the gun comes with the removable. Uh, carrying handle on the top, which also acts as the rear sight. This is the front sight, this is the rear sight for the gun. I don't know if you can see that, but you see through here. It's got the adjustable for long distance shots, short distance shots. You just flip like this, flip like that. Also for night or daytime, that helps. Fully adjustable, and the whole full, the carrying handle is also full metal. The receiver is full metal front receiver full metal. The right here, the grip right here is plastic. It's very sturdy, strong ABS plastic. This back spot right here is plastic. The pistol grip, plastic right here, uh, but it's it's very sturdy plastic. It, it's not going to break. It's not going to go anywhere. Right here we have the charging handle. For this particular model, when you cock it, it doesn't really do anything. On the plastic model, when you do that, it opens up here for the hop-up. For this, you kind of just have to open it up yourself to get it to hop up in here. Very, very nice gearbox. Very easy disassemble. I'll show you that later. When you get, if you order from an Airsoft GI, it always comes with a little quality control report. It tells you the FPS with 0.20 BBs, and if it passes the tests, and it come, my gun, it comes around 360 FPS. That's the way it comes. And you can take off this carrying handle. It's kind of hard to get off, but you can take that right off. Put whatever kind of sight you want on it. You can put an optical zoom sight. You can put a red dot. You can put an ACOG, halo sight. I chose to get a ACOG sight. I like the way it looks on M16s and M4s. This one, I think, was $80, $82. It, uh, you could adjust the windage and the stuff like that. Just basic red sight, red dot. You could adjust the the brightness of the dot. Uh, it gives it a very nice look. The this this magazine that it comes with is the 450 rounds. Usually you get a 300 rounds or low cap or mid cap. But this is a longer magazine and it's a little grayer than everywhere else on the gun. This gun has a very nice rate of fire. The single is like like this. And then there's the full auto. Very fast. Basic all around good gun. You get straps for it, you get four grips. I chose to get this strap because usually the straps that you get that come with the guns, this one didn't come with a gun, but with a strap. Usually you or you get a gun, it comes with a strap in the box. Don't use those. Usually they're not reliable at all. They break, your gun falls on the ground, could break. It's not very good. Not reliable. This one's very good, it's very sturdy. I use it to carry my bag and everything. Okay, another thing. Back here, back in the stock, this is where the battery goes in. You pull down on this little button and you pull out, it opens up. This is a large, standard large type battery. 
connector. This compartment back here for the battery holds a very large battery. You can put 8.4 volt large type battery in there. What I chose is I got a uh, 9.6 volt 4200 mAh MAH custom battery intellect because uh, it has the room to hold, as you can see, a very large battery. And you could get pretty much any size battery in here. Just so pop it right on, make sure it's a large type connector, pop it right on, put it in, and you just slide these two pieces in here, the click it in, you're ready to go. Sturdy rifle, very good. Magazine is sometimes a little wobbly, but it always feeds. All the magazines usually feed. You can get most magazines will fit into this gun. Um, I know for a fact the A and K box mag. Um, it's a little wobbly in here. It comes in and out. I'm not sure if it feeds yet. I have one for my CQB M4, and it fits fir fits firmly right in there. But uh, for this gun, I'm not too sure how it feeds. I'll let you know in the future. But basically, this is it. This is the G&G M16. Any questions, just write. Subscribe to Airsoft Films 11. That's all I have to say.